Hello and welcome to GW Security Tech Support video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the IP address for your 50 Series 7 camera and also how to upgrade the firmware. The first thing you're going to need to do is download GW IPC Manager and you can get it from our website gwsecurityusa.com. And then you'll go to Support and download software. You will then select GW IPC Manager for the 27 and 57 series camera. After that, you can then open the tool. And if you hit refresh, it will show all the cameras that you have online. In this case, I will be working on a 5757 MMIC. You can see here that the IP address is 192.168.1.120. This is the default IP address. You can also scroll to the right and then see the firmware version. You can then go back to our website, go back to the support section, and then this time choose Download Firmware. For the 57 and 27 series cameras, you will then have the option to choose Denali or Easy Vision firmware. I would suggest using Denali. You will then see the firmware listed by date. So you will choose the most current one. And then here it will have a list of each type of camera. As stated previously, I'm doing a 5757 MMIC. So I will select this one. You can then download the firmware, which on my case I already have on the desktop. You will then select the camera, and then in the bottom left hand corner of the tool, there is an option to put the username and password. This is for the camera, so you will put admin for the username and admin for the password. And then you need to choose an IP address from your network. You can do this by pulling up a command prompt. And if you don't already know what your network scheme is, you can type in ipconfig. So in this case, my gateway is 192.168.10.1. So the IP address that I use will need to match that. So I'm going to ping 192.168.10.191. So if it says request timed out or destination unreachable, this means that this is a usable IP address because nothing is already there. Then you will see an option that says DHCP or use the following IP address. We're going to have it set to use the following IP address, and then we will enter the IP address that we just pinged. Once you click on the line below, it'll automatically populate the information that belongs there. You can then hit modification. It should then say successful. After that, you can hit refresh. It should then populate the camera with the new IP address that you gave it. Now we're going to upgrade the firmware, so you're going to click on Firmware Upgrading. When you go to Firmware Upgrading, the list should be blank. So you need to hit Add Online IPC in order to have the camera show up. Once it populates, you will select the camera that you are working on. If you're working on multiple cameras, you can select them all. And then you will select the file from where you have it downloaded. After you do that, you will hit Upgrade, and then it will go through the upgrading process. Once it's done upgrading, you can go back to the IP searching and then do a refresh, and it should again populate the cameras. You can then scroll over to the right and check the firmware version. You should see that it is now on the correct firmware. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you need any further assistance, you can call us at 626-350-0555 or you can email us through support at gwsecurityusa.com.